let's talk about the KOTC that had just passed. What's good, everybody? Welcome to the 1v1 Hoops Network. I am Chris with the wrist, and I am here to talk about most recent King of the Court. We had Iso Ho, Cam So Smooth, and Tim the Clamp God Carter. So we got the guards out here now. The guards of the community are here to display their talent on the KOTC. And honestly, it was a very surprising thing to watch. A lot of people were doubting Tim Carter. He's not known as an offensive player, but he did display some good offensive game throughout this KOTC. Now, unfortunately for him, he ended up losing twice in a row and two strikes, you're out. But he kept the games fairly close. Shooting beyond the arc and being able to get his shot going was very interesting to see. We don't see him as a shooter. We see him as a guy who in these 5v5 settings, when he plays on a team, he does a lot of the dirty work. He tires the best offensive player out. He makes sure that, you know, everything that has to do with basically nothing offensively is getting done. And that's the type of player he's known for being. So coming into a KOTC, his disadvantage was his offensive game, but it didn't look like it was that much of a disadvantage. It just happened to be that the other person's offensive game was just a tad bit better. Now, Cam originally sat out the last KOTC because uh, unfortunately he was sick, but it seems like he's back and healthy, which is a good sign because we all love Cam in the community and he is a great fun player to watch. So when he came into this, I was expecting Cam to, you know, really show people, hey, he wasn't trying to duck no smoke. He wasn't trying to, you know, say, oh, uh, I was afraid of the competition. You know, I don't think Cam's the type to say that he's afraid of the competition. He doesn't back down from basically anything. And he has displayed that throughout all the videos that he's been a part of when he's out at these basketball runs. So Cam coming in, he had a lot to prove to these people. He ended up taking the dub over Tim Carter in the first round and he looked very sharp. And I honestly like that, especially when trying to get it going from beyond the arc and shooting the basketball. He's a quick shifty guard and actually can play a little bit of defense as well. He is a dog on both ends and especially with his speed all in general and his length is definitely a key factor in him trying to get the dub in this KOTC but we have to move on and we have to talk about ISO Hope honestly I had him winning the KOTC because you know offensively like check it check his fucking resume guys the dude is an absolute bucket and we have to respect that and what did he do he came into the kotc getting absolute buckets now it was good to see iso hove go against tim carter again because these two have faced off in a kotc before tim iso and caesar and we know what iso could do in that setting so he's gone up against an opponent that he knows how to try and try and attack offensively and try to make sure that defensively he can hold his ground because Tim, Tim's strong, man. He's one of the strongest players in this community. So trying to stop him, especially when he's going full force to the basket is pretty hard and trying to get by him when he's on the defensive end is actually super hard. So we got to We got to give props to ISO for even trying to like get past Tim Carter because Tim Carter is an absolute dog on the defensive end and he's got bruiser on hall of fame that motherfucker will hurt you <laughs> for sure i do have to congratulate iso for getting the dub because that's who i was personally going for i was very happy on all the players performances especially tim carter in general because offensively he just looked absolutely great and you know if he continues to work on that game he may start being a more dangerous player in this community so we all gotta kind of watch out we gotta look at these small details right here because if tim starts getting a good offensive game he may come back in this kotc and snag himself that 2500 i don't know i don't know cam you know we need to see him a little bit more and get him in more KOTCs. I do want to see Fami in a KOTC. So if we can get Fami in a KOTC, we can try and make that happen. I know Fami's not going to turn down no money. All right, so Fami, if you're watching this, go ahead and get you 2,500. You know, fly out to California and make sure that you can go grab a bag real quick because I'd like to see you in this as well. I do want to see more players into this community try and get into this 
KOTC because I feel that this is a great platform for us to really dissect, you know, as as viewers, as lovers of the game of basketball, for us to really dissect how this player is, you know, as an individual. Because we can watch these players, you know, go to these park runs and, you know, play with the team. But how good are these players as an individual when they're put in that 1v1 setting? You know, we get to see how they can guard somebody 1v1. We get to see how they can offensively attack somebody 1v1. So having this platform right here is the perfect way for us to see how good is this player by themselves. So I like to see this continuously happen. I like to see different players you know smaller creators possibly you know use this platform to get a chance to be like hey this is me this is my name this is what i bring to the basketball court and i just wanted to display my talents kind of i really did enjoy this and i hope you guys enjoyed this as well really excited for the next kotc thank you guys for watching i hope you all enjoyed the video if you're new to the channel and you made it to the end hit that subscribe button leave a like leave a comment on your thoughts on the kotc and who else you would like to see in the kotc match up with each other thank you guys for watching